Hey, hello on this Memorial Day. My dad was a flying tiger in World War II, and this uh, was a hat he wore it, uh, when he came into my shop. He passed away several years ago. Well, today I'm uh, doing the routine inspection of the end gears on this axle son and uh, everything looks pretty good I uh, there's several oil points here there's one two three four five six oil points and then it's good to uh, uh, put some oil on the gears themselves and here's how it shifts from um, Forward to reverse now that's reverse if you're cutting left-hand threads. This also runs the uh, uh, Power feed of course on this machine here Now <clears throat> later lathes uh, have this stuff enclosed and this kind of um, how things used to be. And one advantage of this is uh, it's easier to change it being more open and then just co uh, covered. <laughs> one uh, feature of an axle sun is the width of the gears. And uh, on the end gear train, they are seven eighths. Seven eighths wide. Okay. That's how that is. And I'm going to oil this. And I will put the camera right here. And I think you can see me. I'll look through it. Pretty much. Okay, I'm going to run through this and oil it. I do this uh, once a week. <laughs> so here we go. I got this little cup here. And you fill it. It's got a cap. And screws. They uh, kept changing these uh, axle sons. Okay, that's nice and full. And uh, started making the oil points uh, so they do more than just uh, oil one spot. Okay, I got that one, that one, there's this one, this one. Very good. And this one. These are all needle bearings here. I can put this in uh, neutral and you can kind of see how it works. See all this stuff idles. And this is the stud gear here. Okay. So all this is uh, free rolling on needle bearings. Okay, so I'm going to work my way around. There's a couple of grease certs here that actually take grease. I got them last time. So here's one for the lead screw. Got one down here for the operating rod. I don't think there's anything right there. Okay, this one's interesting. Gotta find that. And here, this one, the tumble of the has gotta be right there. And then you give this a shot. And that uh, lubricates the tumblers in there. And you gotta be sure and hit all these. This needs to be kept topped up. 
There's an oil point right on the end of the uh, hand wheel. I think everybody misses this one. There it is. I see it coming out. Kind of an intermediate shaft right here. On later machines, they had this one oil automatically. Okay, the clutches. Longitudinal clutch. Cross feed clutch. Cross feed dial assembly. Ah, very good. Golden rod oil cams work real good. Okay, this one. As lead screw feed rod, operating rod, half nuts, there's two for that. Actually, three. Feed direction lever. You gotta put that neutral and flip the half nut lever to get that third half nut uh, lubricator. Okay. Oh, forgot that Our top slide here. Have to come from this angle. Get that right in there, sir. Boy, there we go. And uh, the ways are boiled automatically. Now the tailstock. One, two, <laughs> that one. Put it back. Three, four. There's a reservoir back here. That'd be five, six, seven. Get this back. Isn't this something? There's two here. Uh, wind wipers. Axelson has the most elaborate way wipers ever. Way wipers on the carriage. Need oiling, even though uh, the way is automatically oil. Taper attachment back there doesn't need oil unless you use it. Cross feed screw. See, it's starting to feel slick. Front way wipers. Now these are spring loaded with uh, brass scrapers, then packed with uh, felt behind. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna head to the tool and cutter grinder here. Okay, I'm gonna slice off some uh, carbide off these uh, heavy pieces here. And uh, I've got the uh, regular grinding vise set firmly down on the bed and uh, got a more rigid setup going here than uh, using the uh, fixture here. And, and the V-block is what I had. And this V-block, I think this is a 565 Sterrett and there's uh, 3 8 holes that you can mount a shank to. And that's what I did here. I just got that uh, screwed into that. So I'll go ahead and make a cut on this here. And I've got 
I could get the camera in a pretty good spot where you could really see that uh, saw going through that carbine. And I think that's about it. Let's fire it up and do it. Okay. I'll get set up and we'll start feeding that in there carefully, huh? Get a good position here. Now I'm using the gear device here to feed. That sounds quite a bit more real good. Oh, so we came on the back here. I don't know why I forget to do that. Okay. 
Checking out equipment, and I can get up a refurbished computer and probably a camera that'll be compatible with microphones so you can hear me talk. Not too bad. The little piece I'll have to hunt for. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do a whole lot more with the tool and cutter grinder. The jig bore and the Monarch 10 E. And we're going to be a little bit of sun and honing in there too. So, uh, thanks for the donations, and the donations will help with uh, better videos and sound for one thing. And I want to thank everybody uh, that has donated. I'll be back.